John Thompson. You've enjoyed great success as a player and a coach, twice coaching in the Olympics, leading Georgetown University to 24 national tournament, tournament appearances and a national championship. You've earned countless coaching awards. Even with all you've achieved on the court, your legacy will always be the players whose lives you enriched and whose futures became brighter as a result of having played for you. John, by virtue of the vote of the Honors Committee and the power vested in the Board of Trustees, it is a personal honor for me to enshrine you as a coach into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame with all its rights and privileges. John is escorted by former Georgetown Athletic Director Frank Rienzo and welcomed to the Hall of Fame by Boston Celtic legend Red Auerbach. John, John, we also have a, we have another presentation for you. Coach Thompson. Coach Thompson, Coach Thompson, that was a presentation, another presentation besides the ring is, these are two young men that you met as young boys, you turned them into young men, they're now multimillionaires, and they showed up here tonight to give you that towel. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Patrick uh, told me don't cry. I can't help it. Uh, you know, and, and first of all, you know, I, I want to say thank you to all of you. Uh, this is not my image, but who the hell cares about image today? <laughs> You know, I, I want to uh, thank so many people, and if I was looking at the landscape of my life and my career, you know, all the people who are so much a part of it, some of them are here. Some have gone to a better place. I would think of my mother, Anna. My father, John, and my sister, Bert, who are no longer living. I also would think of my sister, Barbara, who is here today with me, and been so very supportive. I have nieces, nephews, I have my son Ronnie, my son John, and my daughter Tiffany, all three of which are my heart. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I uh, also have my perfect miracle, my granddaughter Morgan, who's causing a big fuss <laughs> on the front row. I have my daughters-in-law, 
who are also here with me. I've taken so much, so very much, from my mentors, Coach Arbat. Coach Ar I do too. God knows I do too. When very, I told people about Red is that when very few people would come into the inner city, you know Red as being a Celtic coach and a great one at that. But when very few people would come into the inner city and work with the young kids in the inner city in Washington, when it was not fashionable and wasn't on the six o'clock news, when he was at the height the very height of his career, he would come into a Washington playground and dare somebody to mess with him <laughs> and teach and teach and teach alone. And I respect him for that at the top of his career. He didn't wait until it was over. He did that at the top of his career. I asked Dave Bing, Ollie Johnson, many of the guys. Red was in the inner city working with kids before it came on the 6 o'clock news and became socially fashionable. I also, <laughs> say that again, I, I also would like to thank Dave Gavitt, who was one of my mentors when I was at Providence College. I probably would have dropped out of school and left without his guidance and his counseling. And the kind words saying, keep your temper, hold your head together, and keep going forward. I want to thank you for that. So if you think I was screwed up, and if I said a lot of crazy things, I'm identifying the people who taught them to me now. <laughs> One person who I would have to, I would have to thank is the man from North Carolina who took me under his wing, set me down, and told me realistically what this game was all about. Thank you and I love you. I do too. I do too. And to my foster parents, who none of you know, Marty and Harold Furash, who took me into their home, a mixed up kid from the inner city of Washington, who had had very little exposure to an environment that I encountered in Washington, and raised me with their dog, Bronco, as if I were their son. I'd also like to thank my first assistant and good friend and college teammate, Bill Stein. <laughs> Billy made the mistake when he came to Georgetown of living in my house, and I wouldn't let him go to sleep. Some of those 12 o'clock nights that Patrick talked about, I made Billy stay up until 2 because we started off at 3 and 23, and we had to win, right, Red, at all costs. <laughs> I also would like to thank a person who is very special to me, my AD, my friend, my brother, a person who always did not understand why I did things, but every single step of the way had my back, my beloved friend, Frank Rienzo. I'd like to thank the president of Georgetown, Father O'Donovan. I think he's here. Stand up, boss. 
Thank you. If you think it's bad being the president of a school, try to be the president of a school that John Thompson is the coach and walking out on everything. <laughs> I'd also like to thank my boss, my friend, a person who just stood by me and was great, Jack DeJulia. Thank you very much, Jack. I feel so blessed to have had all those people in my life. And if I were to go on, I would say people like my favorite bird of prey, David Falk, who has been my attorney and been a thorn in the side of every manager, owner, and coach in the NBA. But he has been my friend. I'd like to thank my other lawyer, Alan First, who has been just as much a friend. To my many friends and faculty at Georgetown University, Dr. Mann, Sam Harvey, Joe Lang, Father Ed Glenn, Brian McGuire, and Big Bill Shaplin, my little sports information director. Stand up, Bill. Thank you. You need, you need a guy that size being your sports information director when you're John Thompson. To my brother, who could not be more so were we of the same parentage, George Ravlin. Thanks for accepting me. To my loyal friend, <laughs> this is going to be a hot one, and future partner, Michael Gahn. and his lovely wife, Paula, to my other brother, Steve Delmont, who doesn't know what disloyalty means, and all my long-term, my long-time buddy, Mike Tony, I am so grateful for all of your patience with me. I'd like to also thank Bruce and Joe, my other two sons, but also the people who held me up, the people who were most significant in keeping me going. I'd like to thank Lori and Michael, my staff. Stand up. Ed, Ed Spriggs, the strength coach. Stand up. One of my favorite sons, who was stupid enough to take the job when I walked out. Craig Escherich. I always tell people about the Godfather when they were getting ready to get the people Godfather in the movie, they said, where is Luca Bracci? Before we touch the Godfather, where is Luca Bracci? My Luca Bracci is Mike Riley. Thank you. Trina, for years, for many, many years, and even today, my loyal administrative assistant and secretary, please stand up. <laughs> These people have worked so hard and have been so good to me. I've received the credit. I've got the collapse. I've come before you. But without these people, I would have been nothing. I have many players. A lot of those players are here. I can't go through their names to call them, but I would like everybody in here who played for me, damn it, stand up. <laughs> and without saying any more, I'd like the wind beneath my wings to also stand up. The one person who gave me more lip than anybody else, the one person who made certain that I did not do what I should not have done as far as these kids graduating from school, the one person who really ran Georgetown basketball, Mary Finlan. Please stand up. I 
hope I have not forgotten you, because without the support of many of you who are here in the stands, without the support of many of the alumni, the faculty, and the staff at Georgetown, there is nothing a coach can do. And for that, and for that, I appreciate very greatly anything and everything that you were able to do. I also want to thank, and this is going to be a shocker, the members of the media. <laughs> the members of the media, and particularly those who were big enough to forget our personal differences, but yet still say that I belonged in the Hall of Fame. I wanted to be here. Thank you very much.